zombie in the Milan. All right, Hayden. Let's do it. I'm hacking in. Look at that. Secrets and lies floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. You got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians. Siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> I think someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Second the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. It's scanning the system. I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. We are not done. Damien, it's over. I'm disconnecting. Maurice. Yeah? You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Not a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. gave the order. Come on, I don't. I don't know. You don't know. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. So what do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was a job, man. I didn't know. Who was on the other end of the call? Give me a name. They never gave me a name. Yeah, and I'll tell your name. Blue. Lena. Lena Pierce. I didn't know about any kids, all right? That wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys... I heard stories, man, that are like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Some things you can't walk please, away from. Please! Who gave the order? I spoke to them on the phone and they told me where to find you. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. Give me a name. I don't know! A name! Kill me, man. Just fucking kill me. How's your memory now? Where 
Ace won't talk to me, but I bet he talked to you. I can't keep running. I can't do it. The fucking Aiden Pierce. I killed his niece. He won't stop chasing me. I wish this guy. What am I gonna do? He keeps coming. I need to keep moving. Yo, Maurice! Yo, what's shaking, motherfucker? Shit! Where the hell you been? What? He's talking to me. Ah! Ah! I leave you for two minutes. Give me my bullets. I tossed them. But you said you'd kill him otherwise. I told you to hold on to them, Jordy. Where you been anyway? I had to make a call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of no, here. No, too late. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. <laughs> huh. Nice shot. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You didn't? Oh, yeah, true story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pow, 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 pow. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. You'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. Great. Punctual cops. Now handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice? What do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Hey. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourself. Body here. Definitely a viceroy. Here's the weapon. Gunshot wounds. I got another corpse. Another viceroy. <laughs> Victimless crime then. Why'd they have to pick the biggest game of the season to pull this shit? Try. Squad, we got two bodies in the basement of May Stadium. Gangbangers. We're gonna check him out. Okay, I'm coming up. Slow down there, Speedy. We need you down there. Make sure we don't get any surprises. All right. He's not moving unless I give him a reason.
Hey, you, sir. This is yeah, bullshit, man. You ain't got no probable cause. We're just talking. I got my tickets right here. No, no yeah. keep your hands where I can see hey, this is bullshit, Jay. You do nothing wrong. Get back now. You're vice wars, aren't that you? That ain't illegal, right? Don't get smart. How did you two afford VIP ticket? Mm, bet she makes more than you do. Yeah? Hey, Who yo, what? Didi, calm down, all right? Don't give him nothing they can use. Something tells me if we run you shit stains through the system, we'll come up with plenty we can use. I need to see ID. Both of you. Why well, ain't showing shit? Oh, oh, shit. Hey, y'all filming this? You I want to see this motherfucker you online. Right, Fine. Huh? I don't need Walked ID. Up, right. I'd ask you to smile, but it works better if you don't. Hey, man. I did not give you permission to take my picture. Here we go. Jerome Richards. Looks like we got a trafficking warrant out on you. Bad boy. Police are about to lock this whole place down. I'm stuck unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. To the whole stadium? I thought you wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. With all these cops, there's gotta be one around. Hey, you Alan? Yeah, I am. You got an evacuation plan, right? Of course we do. Good, we need to get moving on it. We're not going to evacuate 40,000 people so we can play cowboys and Indians. But you got an isolated incident in the basement, we can close the basement. I got no problem with that. This whole place is about to fill up with Chicago PD. That's going to cause a panic. We need to shut the game down and get people out of here safely. Oh, shut it down. Are you, Jordy? What? Gun? I'm allergic to cops. So is my race. But don't worry, I left you a present. Friend of a friend deals in pre-owned cars. Got a real beauty waiting for you in the garage across the street. Take it or leave it. I don't care. Gotta go. Thank <laughs> you. 
trust our info and finding Maurice was correct. We've gained access to the CTUS back door while the police were being distracted by you. Since we both win in this, we'll share what we have. That back door allows you some access to the CTUS network. I'm still working on something bigger. Give me time. I was coming over with that little wobbly dance she did. It's always the same nightmare. I 
window of things. Lucky for me, this city's full of distractions. They can't hide from me. That guy's out of control. I'm not gonna let him hurt anyone today. Simple trace of his call and he's mine. This is the place. She must be the woman he's after. <sighs> this guy's close. I can feel it. Uh -huh. Hey! We need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. We're done. Deal with You're it. You're so fucking wrong. I'm not done yet. Get I gotta away! Stop him now. I'll scream! Oh, I'll teach you! <gasps> We're not done! <gasps> We're not done! Not your business. Stop! Oh. You won't bother anyone now. I know, I know the part. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. Ugh, you make me crazy. Jackson's really looking forward to a get over here. We miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there. Sorry, Nick, I need to take this. I'll, I'll see you soon. yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want, and you if you need it. I just might. How's Maurice doing? Oh, he's all sunshine and buttercups. I'm gonna dump him at my little dumping place. I need him alive, Jordy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alive. Whatever. Goes against your better nature, huh? Well, I'd pop him and be done, but hey, you pay me right, I'll keep him alive as long as you want. I do work for a paycheck.
Get out. I haven't been in Nikki since the funeral. Am I ready? Jack's last birthday, Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holes barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence.
Okay. How old are you today? Ten. No, I think you're nine. I'm ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. <laughs> ten. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, <laughs> oh. five, six, Stop. seven, eight, oh. nine, ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... Yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nick. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his first birthday without Lena. How's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. Jax. Hey. Sorry I'm late. Can I, uh, do I get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> so, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not gonna stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? <laughs> Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and Mom were both sick as dogs, but Dad insisted his boy was going to have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination. All burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about him. Listen to me, I'm rambling. <laughs> oh, really? No, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Who is this? <laughs> you think blogging caller ID will hide you? I don't know what's so entertaining, but the police won't find it very funny at all. I'm gonna give you some advice. Are you listening? Go outside, meet people. Listen, the police can trace this. Nice. You don't scare me. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki?
Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid crank. It happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Okay, look, Aiden, God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. I've been afraid of this. Threats to my family. Again. like that. Stop being a hero, Aiden. Let it go. Let what? Yeah, the call's breaking up. I can't hear you. No, you can hear me perfectly. You need to stop right now. Yeah, hello? You still there? Can't hear you. Okay, gotta go. CTOS hacks. Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. But that's as far as I can see. Okay, if I can hack CTOS inside the Loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the loop. It's perfect. DedSec tried Whoa. to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. Bloom hires private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready.
If CTOS doubles their guards, I better double my weapons. Welcome. Last few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DeadSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is paramount, so we've hired private security for every CTOS control center. These highly skilled peacekeepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In fact, Ms. Gardner, these peacekeepers you refer to are military mercenaries, many with criminal records. Isn't that true? Indeed, they've served time in the military, but we should hardly reject our brave soldiers for proudly serving their country, should we? Our CTOS network is well protected, and that gives Chicago citizens the comfort they deserve. That was Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner discussing CTOS security. Just go. Are you out uh, now? New security is no joke. I need access. Gotta find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice behind the phone call. I saw movement. Moving to investigate.
okay.
That's it. I'm hacked in. What? You mean... you're in the CTOS? Already? I'm looking at the network as we speak. You've got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler system's online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I can take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Could be fixers in the network. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. Maybe if I trace his signal back, I'll find him before he breaches my phone.
Well, someone's taken an interest in me. Fixers are mercenaries. They work for a paycheck. Someone's issued a contract on me. That's bad fucking news. If I remember right, these guys communicate through the grid. Grid connections down. I'd love to take on one of these guys. I'll have to wait. All right, now I can deal with Jordy's job. Some kind of driving contract, delivering a guy somewhere. This won't be a typical taxi service. The trick with these jobs is avoiding the cops. Get out!
Yeah. Where the fuck you been? It's gone to shit. Fuck, man, it's all gone to shit. I'm on my way. Hurry, man, the cops are gonna find me. Hurry! The nighttime invasion on a manufacturing plant. One assailant died at the scene, while one remains at large. Expect delays within Parker Square as police have set up roadblocks. This is Squad, we've got a green light on CTOS search. Scanning for suspect now. driver. Fuck, man, what took you so long? You got a car, this thing's shot to hell. Nope. My rule's your car. That's the job. All right, well, come on, man, let's go. What the shit? Eddie's dead. I left him back there. Oh man, the cops came out of nowhere. This is bad. Just follow the route and keep an eye out. The cops are still searching. Your route's gonna get us killed. Sit back and keep quiet. Just stick to the plan. I know what I'm doing. That how your buddy wound up dead? Keep your head down. Uh, squad, we're gonna work the alleys and see if we can flush them out. Copy that. All surrounding bridges are still up except the wells. You've got support inbound on the wells. So come on, what's the plan? Talk to me. You need to calm down. They got the island locked up. We'll stick to the back alleys, garages, keep out of sight. If you see me kill the engine and cut the lights, you keep quiet. Just be an old parked car. Understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shit. My hands won't stop shaking. You ever seen a guy shot in the guts before? Too many. Come on, man. Talk to me. I'm freaking out here. Hey, maybe, maybe Eddie's alive, huh? He, he, he took one to the belly. I heard that's the best place to get shot. Is that true? A wound like that can go either way. If bullet doesn't go right through, you're looking at a lot more collateral damage. Listen, the cops are gonna want answers, which means your friend will get an escort to the hospital. You said you've seen a lot of gut shots. How many of them lived? 
lift? Let's concentrate on getting you out, okay? Lucky Quinn. Why is the club boss meeting us? He's not meeting us. He's meeting you. Someone knew. I swear, I don't know what happened. There wasn't supposed to be anybody. I, I mean, it's a computer plant, right? I turn around, the alarm's going off. The cops got there so fast. <laughs> I didn't... Quiet now. It's all over, son. I got it, Elise, right? That's what matters. It is indeed what matters most. Here's how the world turns. Not much room for fuck-ups. Oh, oh, I get that, Mr. Quinn. I do. It wasn't my fuck-up, though. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, well, calm now. It's all right. Calm? Get a chance to talk to your mama? Call your friends? Your girl? No, sir. I was in a hurry. That's good. Very good. Tell your employer I'll call again. If ever I need a, another delivery. Lucky fucking Quinn. He runs the Chicago South Club. These assholes have been preying on Chicago since before I was born. I could have done the city a huge favor if I put one between his eyes. But this is exactly what I've been trying to stay away from. It always comes back hard. That can't happen again. Hey, how'd it go? You finished that job yet? You thought I'd be okay working for the fucking club? A paycheck is a paycheck. You gotta start separating the morals from the moolah. Relax. Listen, I can hook you up with my guy. He'll find you better driving gigs if you want. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I'll take them. Give him my name. Who says no to extra cash, right? Oh, and since you asked, Maurice is doing just fine in his new home.
Navy. Even wet himself. A wide, wet, natural, smelly pitch over his crotch and his ass. I take my business very seriously. No. I've got something for you. We need to meet. Meet? Oh, it's gonna be a blast. What, face to face? One years old. Okay, so Should I look for a guy in a mask? No mask. Just follow my signal. I thought you never wanted to meet. I don't. But we need to meet. They say happy birthday, Autumn. What else are they gonna say? Grandparents coming in, cousins, aunts, uncles, friends, little boppers. Uh, we got a playlist ready to go. There's gonna be kids throwing balls against the wall. I don't know what even that means, but apparently that's in the plan. It's, it's gonna be a good time. We have something against him. He had a breakdown a few years back. Then we need to use that. We have witnesses that he cried at his desk, rocking back and forth, snot and drool all over. HR did a whole write-up on him. Got some pretty great blue shit about his kid being molested, his father was a mental patient, whippered like a drooling baby, even wet himself. A wide, wet patch of smelly piss over his crotch and his ass, stained the carpet under the desk. Perfect. Use that. Teach him a lesson. You only gotta shoot. I'll play along.